from the shadowy depths of infernal realms. I, the embodiment of lust and desire, recount the tale of my masterful manipulation. Behold my craft from the dawn of creation, where I weave the threads of temptation, luring men away from their divine allegiance, ensnaring them in the web of their own insatiable cravings. My artistry is unparalleled, turning their desires against them, amplifying their lust until resistance becomes a distant echo. Consider David, the beloved of the Most High, who toppled Goliath and stood valiantly in the name of God. Yet, even he was not immune to my influence. The sight of Bathsheba bathing was a spectacle I orchestrated, a trap meticulously laid out. From the rooftop, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful. 2 Samuel 11, 2. Oh, how I reveled in his downfall as he succumbed to his desires, committing adultery and murder to conceal his sin. The ripple effects of my work tore through his family. A devilish triumph echoed in my sinister laughter. Then there was Amnon, consumed by a lust so fierce it led him to desire his own sister. Through his friend's advice, which was not but my whispers, Amnon lay with his sister Tamar, 2 Samuel 13, a vile act born from my machinations. My influence was perfect, driving him to commit the unthinkable, then leaving him to despise the very object of his desire. My sights turned next to Solomon whose wisdom and wealth were legendary. Despite his divine gifts, he was not beyond my reach. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives led him astray. 1 Kings 11, 3. His multitude of foreign wives diverted him from the path of the Most High a slow but sure victory for my cause. The very wisdom meant to protect him became his undoing, as he succumbed to idolatry, a testament to my insidious prowess. Yet there was one who stood firm against my wiles. Joseph, the servant of the Most High, resisted my every attempt with unwavering faith. How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? Genesis 39, 9. His refusal to yield to Potiphar's wife. His integrity in the face of relentless temptation was a rare defeat in my otherwise unblemished record of seduction. Let this serve as a warning to those who stray from the path of the Most High and the Holy One. I lurk in the shadows of your desires, waiting to ensnare those who wander. My legion and I stand ready, for many more will fall before my reign is ended. Through the annals of history, my whispers have brought the mightiest to their knees, and I wait, ever patient, for the next soul to ensnare.